Hi, I'm Neil McKinnon. You join me here today at the fabulous Manor Farm Fishery on Island Pool. I'm going to run you through today a few tips on method style fishing including the pellet feeder, the banjo feeder and a standard method. Right, the first thing we're going to look at are bait choices to use around the method feeder. Typically, we've got two choices, ground bait or micro pellets, two mils. Today I've chosen to start on two millimetre sticky method pellets, these sort. The other choice for my ground bait is match method mix and pro fish meal green. Now for my ground bait, I use three parts match method mix to one part Pro fish meal green. This I believe gives me just the right texture of ground bait and more importantly the right stickiness of ground bait for a method feeder. The next thing we're going to look at now is hook bait choices and today we've got three varieties. The first one is the Pro Hookable Expander, the second are the Sinking Bandoms and finally the Bandom Wafters. We're going to try each one in turn and try and work out which is the best bait on the day. The setup for today is quite simple. I've got a 10 foot superior feeder rod combined with a 520 centris reel and six pound sinking feeder mono. Now, fishery rules today allow us to use elasticated feeders, but we're going to be using the ICS system, which whether it's elasticated or in line, caters for everything and allows you to change your feeder mid session. We're going to be using three types of uh, commercial feeder today. Those are a standard flatbed method feeder, a Dura Banjo feeder and a pellet feeder. And we're going to vary the types of feeder, the bait and the hook baits to see which turns out to be the best technique on the day. In terms of detail of the setup today, I'm going to be using elasticated setups on all three feeders. And in terms of the end tackle, the six pound sinking feeder mono, I've tied a four inch loop in the mono and simply attached a clip swivel on the end of that loop to loop style. And then that allows me to clip on the three different types of feeder. So this is a Jura Banjo feeder and simply you can clip it on, simple as that, and you're ready to fish. And then when you've caught a fish or you've wound in, you can clip it off and clip on another feeder to suit. The three types of feeder that we're going to use today is we're going to start off on a method feeder which allows us to get plenty of bait into the swim and see how the fish initially react. We'll then probably move on to the Jura Banjo which offers a different style of presentation in terms of the hook bait and it contains the pile of hook bait as it melts away from the feeder into a smaller little condensed pile. And finally the pellet feeder which again offers another different type of presentation and this allows it to just pour out from the front of the feeder and again in a nice little tight pile. And we'll vary between the three different techniques and see which works out best on the day. As you can see behind me, there's an island and I'm gonna be looking to fish as close as I can to this island, but depending on how the fish want to feed on the day, they might be very tight or they might be slightly further off the island. So the first thing that I've done when I arrived and got my rod set up was to clip up and get my distance. Now I've done this by using a 45 gram bomb. And there's a reason why I use a 45 gram bomb and that is all the feeders that we're using are 30 grams. But by the time they're loaded with the ground bait or the pellets, they represent nearer a 45 gram weight. So by using this weight bomb, it gives you 
an accurate feel for how your feed is going to feel when you come to cast it. So I've started off by casting around a metre from the island and I think this is a good starting point that way we can push a little bit closer if we have to or we can back it off a little bit and fish further down the slope. So let's get fishing. So by alternating between the three styles of feeder, we've been able to work out which is the best form of presentation to catch the most fish on the day. So we've started on the flatbed method feeder, it allows us to provide a pile of bait and a hook bait close by and it allows us to introduce quite a bit of bait as well. But it's a little bit bigger pile than the Jura Banjo feeder. The walls on the Jura Banjo feeder allow a smaller, more condensed pile which can be better on the day. And finally the pellet feeder where the pellets can only exit in one direction and the fish have to approach it square on so that they can take the hook bait. By alternating the three along with the hook baits we've managed to work out which has been the best method to catch the most fish on the day. At the start of the session the method feeder with a wafter or a sinking bandom has caught us a few fish but we've had to wait quite a while for baits. We've swapped to the Jura Banjo, which has brought brights a little bit quicker, but again, still not quite as good. And finally, we've moved on to the pellet feeder, which has proved to be, today, to be the most successful method, both in terms of bait presentation and with the Pro Expander being the best hook bait. Using the Pro Hookable Expanders has brought the frequency of bites quicker and we've caught a mixture of F1s and big carp on these, which I think has proved to be the best bait on the day. Here's just a sample of the fish that we've caught today at the brilliant Manor Farm Leisure. Pro Hookable Expander pellets have definitely been the best hook bait and I've caught small F1s to great big carp approaching £10. I've also had a few skimmers which I've put straight back. What a fantastic day's fishing.